I'm Man Cub from Weld.com. Today I'm going to show you eight quick steps to improve your stick welding. Tip number one, clean your base material. We don't want to be welding through paint, grease, oil. You want to set yourself up for success. So let's go ahead and clean all this off. I always put my safety gear on eyeglasses and uh, protected gloves for chemical. The first step is acetone paper towels. I put acetone on the napkin, then I wipe it, try to wipe as much as I can off. Then I like taking a little acetone and putting it lightly on the plate. Then I just keep wiping it until I don't see no more oil, grease, or paint. Just make sure it's dried. So the reason I use acetone is we don't want the grinding wheel to load up with all that grease and oil. So our next step is going to be grab a hard rock and remove all the milska and rust. Tip number two is is setting your machine to the right diameter rod you're using. So we're gonna be running off the Everlast Power Arc 160. We've got an eighth inch rod, 7018. I'm running on 3 8 carbon steel plate. Take one divided by eight, it gives you 0.125. That's 125 amps. Every machine's gonna run a little bit different, so this is a good starting point. So tip number three is hot start. What a hot, hot start does is increase your amps for a short amount of time. So example is 125 amps, and we set the the hot start to 20%, so it's going to jump up to 150 amps for a short amount of time. So what this hot start is going to do is help you uh, not stick to the plate, and it's going to help you fire off the rod right away. So when you practice, always practice running straight lines. You want your bead straight. So tip number four is grabbing a piece of soapstone and a straight edge is drawing a line. Uh, this will help you uh, achieve a perfect straight weld, and you'll get into that habit all the time running a nice straight bead. Tip number five is be comfortable. So there's different ways and different techniques people use this. So I'm gonna show you a couple different techniques. Some people put it underneath here and use your wrists and go like that. You're gonna just do a little dry run, make sure you're comfortable. Cause you don't wanna just, you know I mean, be uncomfortable and you're wiggling everywhere and you can't stay straight. You want your bead be, be straight. So you go like this or you go like this, put your hand on top. Uh, the reason I put my hand on top is you're trying to steady your rod and just go like that or nice and consistent. So tip number six is making clean, accurate arc strikes. So we're gonna start right here on the edge of this plate. Uh, we're, we usually strike a quarter inch to three eighths past that. Uh, you wanna strike right where you're gonna run over the arc strike and you won't get no prosody. It burns that out and the pot oil is nice and hot. Aim about a quarter inch to three eighths above it. Then I strike it like a little match. Strike it real lightly, you wanna be light. If you're not light, you're gonna stick. All right, so we just do that. Then I come back after it's lit. I do a little long arc. You want that uh, electro to warm up. Then as soon as you uh, warm it up for about half a second, get in there tight because you also will get prosy if you leave it really long. So as soon as you do that, retrace where you want to start at. Nice and tight. And then you let your puddle establish and you keep it the same size all the way down. So when you're welding here, you're going to be looking at three things. The top toe, the bottom toe, and looking right in front of your rod. Make sure you're following that soapstone line and you're going straight. If you're going too slow, you'll see the puddle get bigger and the toes will get wider. If you're going too fast, you'll see it start narrowing out. It'll get smaller and it'll taper out really narrow. So you want to keep the nice, consistent travel speed all the way down. Also, if you're increasing your arc length, you'll hear a lot of crackling, batter. Uh, that's telling you you're too far away. Get closer, you'll see the batter reduced and it will look a lot better. Tip number seven is if you got moisture in your rod. What you do is turn up your amps on your machine, stick it to your workpiece, not on the part you're gonna weld. Let it heat up for about five or 10 seconds, and you'll sometimes you'll see the steam just come out. I generally use this technique on 7018 and uh, stainless steel rods. So tip number eight is practice, practice, practice. What we're doing here is running bead on plate. Uh, you pick a big size plate, let's say it's six by eight or eight by eight. You run a stringer, draw your soapstone line, run your stringer bead, then just keep going down the plate. They call that bead on plate. And you wanna make sure you're always wire brushing your uh, welds, make sure there's no slag, smoke. Then you wanna make sure you're overlapping your bead on top of the other bead by half. And this will keep you nice and consistent, nice and straight. Once you think you're good, keep on going because you're probably not good, all right? Just keep practice, practice, practice to make a good weld. All right, there it is, bead on plate. It takes about 25 minutes to weld. I use 7018 eighth inch rod. Weld 100 more, 1,000 more throw different techniques in there. Well, from left to right, right to left, uh, throw restarts in the middle. Um, just keep practicing over and over. The best welder in the world will still practice on this. This is the best way to keep your welds nice and straight. So I hope you guys learned everything. Hey, I'm Man Cub from Weld.com. 
weld mean, weld green.